Hi everybody, welcome to ACE Engineering Academy and ACE Online. In this video, we will be discussing about an important notification that was released by Maharashtra Transco Department related to assistant engineers. Okay, so here you need to go to the website URL like this mahatransco.in slash career slash active. In that, you can see the notification here related to the assistant engineer post. Okay, transmission as well as telecommunication. That means this post is for electrical engineering students as well as electronics engineering students. Okay, now if you click on this PDF, the PDF opens like this and here you can see about the company profile first at the beginning. So, and the notification number, see this will be very important for you for further uh, information regarding this notification uh, related information like when will be the examination date, okay. All this will be based on this employment advertisement number 06 slash 2024. For future correspondence, you have to go through this information only, okay. Now, let us see what are the number of posts that were there. So, here you can observe cast category wise posts and here you can see for electrical engineering, assistant engineer transmission. So, here 419 posts are there, 419 posts are there dear students and assistant engineer telecommunication 9 posts are there totally, okay. These are the total number of posts. Now, you can see, so here WR, some codes were given for that the corresponding abbreviations are given at the bottom. So, kindly go through this carefully so that you will not have any problem. So, the number of vacancies and reservation is provisional and may change. So, this is subjected to change also dear students. So, try to understand that. Okay, such change will not be notified either in newspaper, on website or intimated to the candidate. So, this is what is the thing they have given. Okay. So, due to technical constraint, candidates who have applied earlier against the advertisement number 07 2023 for the post of assistant engineer transmission telecommunication will require to apply again against this advertisement. Also, the application or examination fees paid by the candidate against the advertisement number 07 2023 will be refunded to their respective bank account. Okay, hence they are required to pay prescribed application examination fees while filling their online application form as required for this advertisement, okay. So, try to understand previously they have notified in 2023, 7 2023 is the advertisement number. During that time some students might have applied, okay. So, due to some technical glitch there is a problem. So, that is the reason they are asking the previously applied students also to apply against this particular notification and pay the fees, okay. Not only that, the previous fee amount will be refunded to the respective bank account, okay. So, that is related to this particular 7-2023 notification, okay. Now, the cutoff date for deciding the eligibility in respect of age, qualification and experience etc. will be 31st 7-2024 dear students. So, till this date, the age limit criteria, educational qualifications, everything, experience, everything will be considered up to this particular date, dear students. So, you should follow that thing. And coming to the pay scale. So, here the selected candidate will draw salary in the pay scale of rupees 49,210, 2165, 60,035, 2280, 119,315. So, this is the pay bandwidth and gross emoluments will be 84,407 rupees without office accommodation. This is what was given dear students. Now, coming to the educational qualifications. So, this is very important. Kindly go through this carefully. Assistant Engineer Transmission. Okay. Bachelor's degree in Electrical Engineering or Technology. So, this is for Assistant Engineer Transmission. Around 400 plus posts are there. So, you people can apply. Then assistant engineer telecommunication, bachelor's degree in engineering in electronics and telecommunication, bachelor's of technology in electronics and telecommunication. So, this is the thing. As these posts are entry level posts, no work experience is required. Okay. So, try to carefully go through this notification dear students. 
Okay, so the candidate have to acquire above qualification on or before 31st 7, 2024. So this is the date. Before that, you need to get all your educational certifications. Okay, then age limit. The upper age limit for outsider candidate is 38 years for open candidates. Open category students, 38 years is the age limit. Reserved category students, depending upon the reservation, okay, if there are any disabilities, sports quotas, all the things were given here. So try to go through these carefully, dear students. Now, so regarding the reservation system and its information, everything is given here. And most important thing here, the candidates applying for the post should be domicile of Maharashtra state. So that means all the candidates should be a resident of Maharashtra. They only can apply for this examination. Okay. So this is the important information, dear students. Now, let me show you the pattern of the examination. So this is all related to the information of reservation system for various candidates. You can go through this in the detailed notification, dear students. Now coming to the methodology of selection, the selection process will comprise of written test, online test only. So online test examination will be conducted. All the candidates who registered successfully will be called for the online test without verifying their eligibility. However, candidates should ensure that they fulfill the eligibility criteria before applying. The verification of their certificates, documents, eligibility shall be done before issuing appointment. So try to go through this carefully, dear students. Now coming to the written test. So here, online test, as I told you earlier, and it is objective type and test structure should be as under. So test of professional knowledge, 50 questions will be there, 110 marks. So that means related to the electrical engineering subjects or electronics engineering subjects, you will be asked 50 questions and the total marks is 110. Then test of general aptitude. So test of reasoning, 40 questions, 20 marks. Then test of aptitude, 20 questions, 10 marks. Test of Marathi language, 20 questions, 10 marks, dear students. Okay, so a total of 130 questions will be there, 150 marks and a composite time of 120 minutes. So that means the examination duration is 2 hours, dear students. Okay, so here there is negative marking, dear students, 25% of the marks will be considered as the negative mark that is one fourth mark is considered as the negative mark for each wrong answer depending upon the marks for that particular question. Okay, the candidates have to attempt all the above mentioned tests of professional knowledge, reasoning, aptitude and Marathi language and must not have zero or less than zero marks in any test or subtest of written test. Okay, so this is also important thing. All sections are equally important and you need to get more than zero marks in this particular thing. Taking into consideration the performance in online test, select list will be prepared. So while drawing select list out of 150 marks obtained in written test will be converted into 100 marks. Okay, so 150 marks is the original written test, but they will convert the marks into 100 marks related thing. Okay, so try to go through these carefully and minimum qualifying marks 30 marks out of 100 marks for selection under open category. So under open category, out of 100, you need to get 30. And for other category students, out of 100, you need to get 20 dear students. So this is what is the information about this notification. So centers for online written test. So you can see different centers are there throughout Maharashtra. These are all the centers. Around 16 centers are there, dear students. So three options for preference for test centers should be provided. So you need to provide three options of the test centers. So depending upon the demand, they will give you the respective test center. Okay. However, if the numbers of candidates of at any of the centers are more than the capacity of the center for online written test, 
the candidates may be shifted to any other center as per the decision of the organization okay so this is about the online examination related information dear students you can apply now the most important thing application fees for open category it is 700 rupees and for reserved categories and other category students it is 350 rupees dear students so this is about the application fee structure so you can go through this application fee structure and payment mode can be done by using any of the cards or imps system anything or cash card mobile wallets all these things okay so instructions regarding link for online application the notification regarding availability of link for making online application will be published on the company's website and in the newspaper separately as soon as the url available for the same okay so as of now they have not given the url so soon you will be getting this url for online application okay so try to go through this carefully dear students and so you need to apply accordingly and remember that you need to have a color passport size photograph and original photo id proof and call letter when you are going for the examination okay so go through these instructions carefully dear students and apply whenever the url comes okay thank you all the very best